can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. It's still fresh. Look, an axe. I feel better with an axe. What now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? <sighs> I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. <sighs> That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. <sighs> no, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Okay, fine. Here goes. I'm gonna huff. And I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! One who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's got to know this is the only way back. I don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we going to do? I, I don't know. Everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. <sighs> Someone really did a number on this joint. Such hey, a look. mess. This place was barely Fire in tower. working condition before, and now? Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take this show on the road, huh? Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. tower on, on the map you found. Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, well, maybe it has a radio or, or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. What's 
cooking good looking. <laughs> Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. You're all right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. Okay. Okay. Easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Climb down. Climb down what? The mountain. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. I thought the police, like, swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Where you step around here, Em. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top.
Hello? Guys? What are you doing out there? Being creepy. Okay. My clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Chris? Josh? What the hell? Okay, it was all very funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over. All right? You had enough? So, what do you have here? for the rest of the weekend. If you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. Where the hell are you guys? Wow, this is weird. Oh, <sighs> 
Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan, now did it? Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you that everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What you do and what you say causes things to change. Yes. Oh, the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm -hmm. Your overwhelming fear of things that are dead. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? <laughs> 